My new book is Smarter Than You Think, How Technology is Changing Our Minds for the Better. And I wrote it because I had spent 20 years doing long-form magazine journalism, looking at how people were using technology and what they were doing with it. And I had this funny journey, because 20 years ago, I was actually really pessimistic. I thought, wow, the internet's gonna be dreadful for society. You know, people are dumb and they shouldn't be allowed to talk to the world. I, I was just, I was very cynical. I was a bit of a misanthrope. Um, but as I did this reporting, I kept on every person I talked to when I looked at instant messaging or when I looked at text messaging or when I looked at you know photos on Flickr or whatever, I found people were doing things that were more clever and more inspiring and more interesting than I ever would have predicted. And so the reporting, this interaction with reality made me realize that two things, that pe people were really hungry to talk to other people and to think with other people. I realized, you know, we're very social thinkers, that's the way we are. We, we like to bounce things off other people, we like to share ideas, and that's where bigger ideas often come from. We always did that in the offline world, but we can do that you know, in new ways with remote people, with more people, with larger groups, uh, and this has been enormously enriching for our thinking. And that's basically what the book tries to sketch out, how that happens and why that happens. Mm -hmm.